and this happens to be one of my pet phrases, a line that I play all the time. So you could you could steal my lick, you know, and now seem like you're slipping in and out of the changes so it sounds more jazzy and more hip than just playing the scale. You're gonna sound like a professional in no time, you know. <laughs> Master classes with yours truly, Randy Johnston. Really appreciated the support I've had on my last uh, few that I've done on the John Coltrane Giant Steps changes. Today I thought we would cover something uh, which is a variation on a tritone substitution. This is a particular type of tritone substitution using two fives, which uh, the great Wes Montgomery used over and over again in in many um, many of his songs, most notably four on six, but he, he used it in so many different songs, kind of f make it seem like you're slipping in and out of the changes, so it sounds more more jazzy and more more hip than just playing the scale or just playing the altered scale or one of those things. Um, it can be used either in a, in a major key or a minor key. Uh, today we are going to deal mostly with the major key and we're just going to take a 2-5-1 in, in the key of C, the simplest thing possible. And I'm going to show you how to apply this in, in, in several different ways and also give you uh, examples of, of, of lines and, and phrases that you can you can play over this. You're going to sound like a professional in no time, you know. <laughs> On the written materials, it, uh, you'll see that the first thing I have is, is, a, is a very basic 2-5-1 uh, in C. D minor 7, G7, C, C major 7. So it's a four bar phrase. So in time, that would be just something like this. And, and of course, I'm putting a ninth and a thirteenth on, on some of the chords and, and a major nine and all that kind of stuff. You know, in jazz, you can throw a ninth and thirteenth on anything and, and play around with it and let your ear be the guide. But basically, the, the, the most basic version of the changes is just the 2-5-1. I'll go over that. So, and the, the D-flat seven. They're a tritone apart. Tritone is an augmented fourth or a diminished fifth. That that sound. They share the same seventh and third. In other words, in this case, an F, which is the seventh of the G7, and, and a B natural, which is the third of the G7. Uh, when, you, when you change the bass note to a D flat, Now the F switches and it's the third of the, the D flat seven and the B natural is now the seventh of the D flat seven. So, and all of a sudden I change the bass note to a D flat. Now I got your Jimi Hendrix Foxy Lady chord uh, D, D, D flat seven sharp nine. If I have a, uh, a G seven sharp five and I change the bass note, then I've just got a regular D flat nine. So, here's here now. I'm just going to play through once and and use just the D flat seven instead of the the G seven, and we'll see how it sounds. It sounds a little different. One, two, three, four. in that and they would they would kind of sound like alterations uh, flat nine sharp nine 
sharp five, flat five, uh, sharp eleven, flat thirteen. Another another names for the sharp five, flat five, and uh, and they would sound like alterations on the G seven chord. So you'd automatically sound very modern and and hip. And yeah. and this happens to be one of my pet phrases, a line that I play all the time. So you could you could steal my lick, you know now. So I could just, I could just, just take that and just, and and make it really obvious and just repeat that pattern over both two fives, and and so so that would sound like this. And then I'm resolving into the fifth of the C major seven. Let's see what that sounds like in time. tritone substitutions, half step, now that's five of two, that, that's in the next lesson. Mm -hmm. 